Last minute plans. Uh, me and Jack are off to Ikea. On to the next hub. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Are you ready? What is up you guys? Welcome back to my... My channel. I'm so excited! I literally... Loads of deliveries have just happened and I was like, ah, like... I'm not assembling them now. But it just reminded me that I really wanted to vlog this and like show you guys some of the changes I was making like in the interior of my flat. Sounds really weird, but like... I move, not usually by choice, it was last year, but the other two times I moved before, it wasn't by choice because the landlord just decided that they wanted to sell the flat, so I was like, great, I have to move. And it's just so happened that like every year, I've moved apartments, and this, I think, is the first year that I'm staying for another year, so I'm like, I need to resist the urge to move because I just like newness. I, well, especially when it comes to like interior and stuff like that. I love like a new setup, like redecorating and stuff. I actually get asked a lot what I would do if I wasn't um, doing the job that I do right now. And interior design or just like designing. I think I'd like, I thought I would be good at going into like events. But like in terms of like designing the setup for like the dinner table or like something like that. I feel like I've just got an eye for things. So I really like to switch things up because I like, <laughs> I just like being inspired and then wanting to put that like into my interior. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Basically what I'm trying to say is because I'm staying here for another year, I've obviously got to switch things up in here because that's just the way that my mind works and I really enjoy it. So I thought I would show you kind of the things that I'm switching up and then obviously the finished result of just, yeah, like refreshing a few furniture items and the reasons why I'm doing it. So I really hope you like everything that I'm doing. Um, I did kind of touch on it slightly in my latest video vlog. I got a few little interior bits. I can show you them again. But like I said, we've had some deliveries this morning. Um, am I going to be assembling my own furniture? No, because I've done my fair share of flat pack furniture and when you're on your own, it, it hurts my back, all right? <laughs> I don't know why I'm making excuses, I'm just lazy. I'm literally, this time around, I'm just lazy. I've assembled every single other piece of furniture in my house, all right? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I just thought, I'll treat myself, I'll get someone in to do it, I'll make them a cup of tea every hour, it'll be, it'll be fine. All right, but yeah, anyway, I won't do another 20 minute intro for this video because I can't believe I did that on my other video, but some of you, you guys seem to like the longer vlogs. So I'm gonna try and make this as long as possible and sort of show you every step of the way. Um, so let me show you some of the new bits that have arrived and like what's gonna be changing. And I'm really excited for the end result. Don't mind me just catching up on The Bachelorette, but this TV unit, I'm just not feeling it anymore. Um, I'm kind of taking this like dark wood like out and I'm gonna replace it with like white. Um, I've been very inspired by Pinterest and I saw someone with a very similar sort of like sofa set up to me and they just kind of had like a different media unit. So I'm just gonna switch that out. Um, it, you, <laughs> you'll be pleased to know I'm getting rid of these. Um, apparently someone was talking about me on that goddamn awful website called Tattle Life saying like literally when I first moved in saying oh my god she's only lived there for like one day and it's already cluttered like I'm sorry what like because of this apparently like I, like that's clutter when it looks pretty organized to me like you can't really even like see it I don't know anyway so the haters on Tattle Life will be pleased to know I'm clearing all of this um, I actually really need to go through these drawers and actually see what's in them and like, do I really need to keep them? Um, but these two units are gonna go. We're actually gonna have um, two sort of units there and they're gonna be little white cabinets. I'm getting rid of my dining room table, it's just a bit too big. And I know I love to host, so I knew that I wanted to, you know, have the opportunity to have a big dining table, which is why I got this one from Ikea, so it's circular, but it extends out. So it can be small during the day, and then when I do have guests, I can extend it to be bigger. I just thought that makes so much more sense for this space, and I feel like I might get rid of these chairs, or I might keep them maybe just like outside. They would last outside. 
but and just get like two dining room tables that stay there and then obviously I don't have guests all the time but when I do I can just whip those chairs up. Um, but yeah so we're getting rid of these two, getting rid of the TV unit, I'm gonna replace this rug and that is what we're gonna do today because like it was, the, it was a nice idea to have like this big cream rug. Sorry, these cushions on the floor. It's because I'm gonna wash the covers. Um, but this kind of like material, it just traps so much dirt and like crap that it no like. And I've had this for like the longest time. It was time for a refresh. I just needed one that was a little bit like easier to hoover. I feel like the older you get, them <laughs> and you like need to think about these kind of things, you realize that this like shaggy material is not the one, but I did just wash all my sofa cushions. Like how like cream and crisp do they look right now? Um, so we're gonna replace the rug today because look, it's literally just arrived. And literally just as I've re remembered that I wanted to vlog all of this kind of stuff um, and the rug arrived, I had put my TV unit on uh, like Facebook marketplace and stuff like that. Nobody wants it. And I feel like, I would like, I, I don't really mind not getting any money for it. It's like brand new, so I'm a bit like, I paid like 200 quid for it. Um, so I did want some money for it, but I, at the end of the day, like I really just need it gone. Um, so I've actually just arranged for the British Heart Foundation to come and collect the TV unit and those two little black units there because they were actually really sort of affordable from Ikea and I actually bought the second one, like I've got two, I bought one of them from Ikea and they only had one in stock and I found the other one on Facebook Marketplace and I got it really, really cheap as well so I feel a bit bad sort of trying to get like a lot of money for them when they weren't and I feel like they could just, they'd be better off and are going to like a better home and that may not be like in this area um, that would have come from me putting them on Facebook Marketplace. And it's just like a good deed, uh, donating like really, it's still in really great condition furniture to the British Heart Foundation. And they actually come and collect it, which I think is really great. Um, the dining room table, however, it is like, it looks good from a distance, but it's like this acrylic um, plastic and it's just been chipped. It's like not nice. I'm sure like someone would want it. But it dissembles and I'm thinking I might just need to like dissemble it and uh, get someone to collect that. I, well, I'm in two minds. Because I was reading on the British Heart Foundation website, like, is it in a saleable, con like, sellable, sellable? Saleable condition. And I just don't think it is. Like, there's just one too many chips that, like, nah, like... Nah, I mean, I'll look a little bit more into it, but essentially, like, I don't think I can donate that table. Or maybe. I feel a bit bad, but it does just dissemble really quickly to be able to just, like, recycle it. I say it's acrylic. I think it's got an acrylic coating, but it is it's wood at the end of the day underneath it. I don't know. I'll ask my mother and I'll keep you guys posted. Mothers always know what to do, but in my head, I just kind of thought I'll just take the legs off and... Recycler, I don't think anyone would really want like a really it's because it's white as well. You can't hide the chips and Unless you painted them with like shiny pe like I don't really know I feel like I'm just thinking out loud because I know someone will tell me in the comments what to do But by the time that you do that it might be too late. I might have already like done something with it that I Hadn't realized that I could do the other thing with it, you know, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I feel like I've still rambled <laughs> for the intro again um but i'm excited time to get rid of this uh, rug and um oh yeah god what do i do with the rug ignore my hands i'll google it what to do it's because it's got like ugh, my hoover is just not good what to do with used rugs because loads of you guys said oh oh carpets recycle now does that count as carpet? Like, it's a rug. Carpets that are in good condition could be sold or donated to charity. <gasps> oh my gosh. Right, I'm gonna do a little bit of recycling about, recycling? A little bit of research on the recycling of rugs and uh, I'll get back to you. When I've moved the rug out of the way, I mean, get the new rug down, it's, it's pretty much like, it's very similar in terms of like color and size. It might be a little bit smaller, 
but this one was like a little bit too big i think um anyways um, it's a little bit smaller a different material and i'll make sure i leave everything linked down below as well right just trying to figure out how to like get my rug out um i moved those tables back let me like shove this Ugh. out of the way i don't want this to break <sighs> i'll give that a clean <sighs> she really did this a hoover oh guys i just added the rug to the british heart foundation collection thingy and um, i'm gonna give it a hoover uh, the best I can, I'm going to borrow Jack's Hoover and Hoover it and I'll just see if they take it and if they think it's sellable and if not, I'm just maybe going to have to recycle it. I did Google it as well and you can donate rugs to like a recycle point, I just got to go find one. Um, so yay, that's good news. Um, right, back to moving stuff off the rug. How do I, it's this, this TV unit which again I need to, uh, well, actually, no, I need, ow! No, I need it to move. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> My bike creamer. Cause guys, I don't know if you can see. See where I stuck the gems on my face for New Year's? I used a lash glue that really, I don't even use it on my eyes because it upsets me and I don't know why I didn't think that if I put it on my skin, that it wouldn't upset my skin. Literally gave me like, allergic reaction things. So I had to put like bite cream on it. Anyways, the struggles to look cute. That's probably the best that I can do. Um, right, time to hoover. Right guys, look who's made an appearance. It's Harry. There we go. But I do actually really enjoy hoovering. God, you know when you can just like hear things flying up into the hoover, like, ew, that was gross. Anyway, I'm gonna, I feel like I've done the best I can in terms of that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna roll this up now. I won't put the hoover away because I feel like I might as well just hoover everything else in here. But I'm gonna roll this mat up, get it out the way and just by the door ready for the collection at some point. And hoover the floor and then we can unwrap the new rug which probably will also need a hoover. To be, I think what's so hard is that you go through this experience. <gasps> this way. Oh my god, look at it! We text, FaceTime, oh, Nate has to watch. Wow, can you see that? It's like a. You know, like a knit the thing type thing. I got it from Wayfair. Like I said, I will leave it linked down below. But doing, I feel like this is just going to be number one, so much easier to be able to see like any dirt or anything, and just so much easier to Hoover. So I'm just now going to arrange the room back to the way that it was. Yay! We have got it all sort of back to normal. I think this is where it was. I feel like the sofa actually might be a little bit too far forward at this moment in time. But uh, we will see when this comes down and I move it out and we put the new one in. If I just maybe need to move it back a little bit. But I am so in love with this rug. It feels so much better on my feet. But that's what we're doing for today. Because tomorrow is when someone is coming to assemble all of these furniture bits. Um, and I need to move these all out of the way. So I literally can't wait for you guys to see it all come together. Um, change of plan, everyone. It's still the same day. Last minute plans. Uh, me and Jack are off to Ikea because they've got the dining room chairs that I want in stock and they haven't been in stock. So I'm thinking maybe they go out of stock really quickly. And Jack needs to get some bits from Ikea as well. So who's up for a spontaneous trip to Ikea? We are. Starbuck. <laughs> spontaneous trip to Ikea. Everybody say well. <laughs> okay, so slight waste of time coming here because um, the chairs aren't here. But they are, but they're not. They're in a different, you know, warehouse. What do you say? Warehouse. So now technically we've come here just to like go to the marketplace, you know, the bit where you just pick bits up. <gasps> oh, the oh, island. Oh, hang on. Do we like a kitchen island for Jack? A new island? He likes my kitchen island. You can buy them separately. 
I miss having an island. Oh, it is cute. Take yeah. note of it. Well, not this one. Just give you a thumbs on it. Oh, send a picture to Connor. But yeah, so the chairs aren't here. But oh, when we get the chairs, I will show you. This is the dangerous section. No, stop it. Oh. <laughs> we had to get a trolley because you know we're going to be grabbing. Like, I don't need a cheese grater. Am I going to get one? Sure. Guys, en route to picking up the chairs, I found some, some brushed cotton sheets and I got this, like, it's got like a really cute little trim, um, wait, the light's on it, it's like 100% cotton, 200 thread count bed sheet, um, we were a little bit stressed because picking up the chairs took a little bit of a turn, so I was like, <laughs> I need to go to next and get, and treat myself to some sheets, that'll make me feel better. On to the next hole! Oh yay, Rachel's got more shit to clutter her apartment with. <laughs> Get my nan from a little egg. Oh my god, you guys! I changed my sheets last night to the new ones that I bought. I slept like a little slinky little cloud. Brushed cotton sheets are just my fave. And shout out to everyone that when I asked where do you guys get yours from, told me that you got yours from Next or like M&S or something because that is literally why I went into Next. I was like, everyone said they got theirs from there. So I'm getting it, I got it. And it was such a good night's sleep. But um, today, today, what was that? Anyways, um, today is the day that literally all of my furniture is going to be assembled by a lovely man from TaskRabbit because I can't do it. And it's actually not that I can't, it's just that I can't be bothered. And that is very lazy of me and quite unlike me, but I've just told myself there's just too much, you know what I mean? There's two cabinets, a dining room table, and do you know what it is? It's because of the dining room table. It's because it's one of those like extendable ones. There's just gonna be a lot of like intricate, I've got to get this right stuff for the table to be able to work, like it actually like fold out and like, that's just beyond me. Um, and these people are experts, so I would love to pay them to do what they do best, you know what I mean? Because that is not what I do best, but I'm really annoyed um, about the dining table. Guys, I've tried everything. I put it on Facebook Marketplace because I thought, you know, surely someone will want like a table in like a workshop or something and therefore it doesn't matter that it's a bit scuffed. I put it on for pretty cheap. Uh, I put it on my like buildings Facebook group to see if anyone in the building wants it. I even asked my mum, I was like, what do you think I should do? Uh, it's not sellable for like the British Heart Foundation. I don't think like, I was reading kind of what they would accept and I don't think I would accept that. It's just, it's just a little bit too scuffed. It's not even just scuffed, it's stained. Like there's this pink ring on it. I don't know where that's from. Um, and, and like stains that I don't know how they're there, but I can't get them out. And cause they're like, it's got like a coating on it. If I was to use like the pink stuff or anything, it would just ruin it further. And I forgot, I actually, uh, in my old flat, drilled into it. Guys, this is why I'm not good at DIY. I drilled into the table and I tried to cover it up myself, which I did. Have I got like gunk in my eye? Was that there the whole time? I really hope it wasn't. So I drilled into the table myself and covered it myself. And like, so I know it's there, but from a distance you can't really see it, but like it's so it's, it's all, basically it's already been ruined. And I've tried everything. Today's the day I need it gone. Nobody wants it. So I think I'm just gonna have to like take it apart and I'll take it apart and I'll, tr I'll try again. But anyway, I've moved it out the way. That was my job for the morning. Just an empty space now, ready for the new dining room table. Um, and I'm very excited. Um, the British Heart Foundation rang me this morning and said, hello, we'll come and get your TV units for you, but next Friday, oh! So I'm just gonna like keep them in my spare room. I don't really use that spare room for anything else, so. Yay! But yeah, like I said, today's the day to assemble it all. I'm so excited. I am going to be assembling the dining room chairs myself because I thought, <laughs> I can't make this poor bloke do it all. Like, he'll be here all day. Um, but he's going to assemble the two units and the dining room table. And actually, Jack said that he might want my TV unit. Um, so he might take that, to be fair. But the British Heart Foundation are going to take those two. And also, they said they took my rug. Yay! Um, so we'll see. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, I found homes for everything, except the dining room table, which is a bit of a shame, but at the end of the day, if anything wasn't going to have a home, it was going to be that dining room table. And now you're going to see all the new stuff sort of like come to life and just basically the little touches that I wanted to do to revamp my flat for the new year, to satisfy my like 
constant need to like refresh. Is that like a thing? I feel like the astro astrology girls are gonna come in and be like, that's such a Libra thing to do. Like, I feel like that's that might like have like a deeper meaning. Like, why do I constantly need to like, or like want to refresh and renew? Like even myself. I don't think there's maybe a deeper problem going on. Anyway, rambling done. The fun stuff is about to commence. I probably can't film the task rabbit man, but I'll get little clips here and there. Guys, oh my God. I was, like I said, gonna try and get little clips, but then I thought, you know what? I don't have his consent to film him, so I'm obviously not gonna do that. He did this so quickly. By the way, I think I'm gonna get new legs because I kind of thought it was a bit higher than it is. Let me know. Because you can see like where the unit is and where the table is. It's kind of the same height. I feel like I just wanted it a little bit like higher, but that'd be really easy to do. I'd just buy like taller legs. Um, but look, here's the table. And then it obviously like extends out for when I've got guests. And then the TV unit's still here because we're gonna take it across. Jack kept me company. He do be wigging. But yeah, we're gonna move it all around. And um, I'll show you a little bit. Um, I did include this in like my other vlogs, the like, decor bits that I got but I've got some other bits as well so I can go through them and if I get any more but I'll show you how I style it all up and then also oh my god I've got to build the dining room chairs still Jack you've got to do the dining room chairs no <laughs> where's your head <gasps> guys I've not I've not assembled the chairs yet but I just wanted to show you what it looks like are you ready let's open it up da 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 is this not just like a cream Dream, look. I love it, I put my little lamp behind there. I've got the rug, obviously. And then this is like, look how much more spacious this is. All of those things that were there, like the stuff that was in it. I've managed to like just put all in here and in there. So it's all just like tidied away. It just looks so much more spacious. But like I said, I'm gonna keep these chairs like out on my balcony. And we can assemble these two chairs. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow, you guys, because I'm absolutely knackered. I've literally not eaten anything today except a coconut pastry oat ball because that guy that was assembling things here was here for like a few hours and I just felt a bit weird, like cooking food. And to be fair, I don't actually really have any food to cook. But me and Jack now are going to go to Asda and just get some dinner and chill. So tomorrow I will assemble the chairs. And that is basically... Everything that I was doing. Um, don't look at the recycling there behind me. I'm about to take that out. But I did just want to show you quickly this thing that I got. Look, I got this like little container and I got recipe cards. So I can like write things down, like anything from like TikTok that I really like, I can write down. I do have this salad dressing recipe that um, is my dad's mum's and then my mum told it to me. So I'm going to write this down on one of them. But as you guys know, I got that salad dressing recipe book. I also got this the Easy Italian Cookbook. So I can't wait to try these kind of things out. I'm gonna have to find a place to keep these. But after I posted my video, so many of you guys sent me DMs of like uh, cooking, TikTok, usernames, and in the comments as well, and so many cookbook recommendations. I literally can't wait to go through them and like take notes and write ones down. Loads of you from the top of my head said something about like mob comfort cooking. Like it's like something like that. I feel like it's Italian, um, really like, yeah, like comfort food recipes. So I definitely want to make sure I get that. But yeah, I'm, speaking of food, I'm absolutely starving. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow when we assemble the chairs and every, like, that's basically it all finished. We are back. It is Saturday. I've literally just got back from Tesco's and I went to the gym this morning and now we are going to assemble the chairs. I'm going to make some lunch first, but... I got some flowers uh, to like go with the, like, the pink vibes and the aesthetic and to put in the middle of the dining room table. And I just love having flowers. I got some pink roses and oh, some cream roses to kind of like make my own bouquet. The lady at the checkout was like, oh, are these a present for someone? And I was like, yeah, me. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna make some lunch. I'm absolutely starving. I feel like out of my new house dressings recipe book. I saw this balsamic honey dressing and I'm gonna make that and I'm gonna use my truffle honey and I'm gonna make like a halloumi prawn 
salad for lunch. So I will let you know how that goes um, and how the dressing is. And then we can assemble the chair and then there's basically everything done. I feel like I always repeat myself. I never can remember where I left off or what I said. And then when I'm editing it, I'm like, Rachel, you said that like 800 times. Um, but just so you guys know, anyway, food. But first things first. Oh, yay! Look how cute! On to the food. So this is the recipe. It says to leave in the fridge for three hours, but unfortunately, ain't nobody got time for that. It does say to add six tablespoons of water, so maybe I'll just add ice. Because it does say to put into a, a blender and blend until smooth. So, like... Would ice make it cool or is that like really ridiculous? I feel like someone's going to be in the comments right this second being like, Rachel, don't put ice in it. But I'll just put really cold water in it and hopefully that'll do it. But I've got all the ingredients here. I've got my little blender and I've got my salad, some cucumber and avocado and some prawns and halloumi. So let's see how this turns out. I am so excited to use the truffle honey. Smooth. This is very watery. Oh, that's nice. Yum. I get to use my spoons. I may have overdid it slightly with the dressing, but this is looking pretty damn good. Let's make sure I get a little bit of everything on here. Let's get some avocado, shrimp. Oh my god. Right, let's build these chairs, shall we? Or maybe just one because I don't know how long it's going to take. absolute state of my hair but guys it's finished and it looks so cute like this is now just so much more spacious and like spread out like all of this room i've decluttered so much i feel like it will look nicer like i'll get the full effect of it even sorry when it's daylight outside but i love 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 the chairs i think i'm gonna maybe do something with the bar stools but i did just want to show you look what's just arrived um, I got a journal from a, from a brand called Papier, I, th Papier, I think, and it's exactly what I was after. Um, it's a wellness journal, it's got like intentions for the day, how you slept, what went well today, thoughts and feels today I'm thankful for, and then you can fill in like, hang on, like goals and stuff all at the beginning so if you guys are interested um i bought this myself by the way after all of your recommendations loads of you said this brand and it literally was exactly what i was looking for so yeah and you can customize all of this as well like i've put my name on it this actually said my wellness journal but i changed it to goals thoughts feelings and i said for the year 2022 and i think you can change the colors of this as well but finally that is everything i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and seeing the little changes that i've made in my flat for the new year just having a little bit of a revamp refresh um i just love doing that kind of stuff and like giving my old stuff away getting some new bits and yeah just having a fresh environment for the new year so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you next week i feel like after everything I've been saying, it's got to be some sort of cooking video next week, hasn't it? Um, so get ready for some cooking, I feel like. Um, so many of you guys said to also keep it on YouTube, so don't, I, I read through all of your comments and I'm always replying um, and taking everything that you guys say on board. So stay tuned for that. Love you all. Ta-ra!